In just 30 years, the number of natural catastrophes has increased fourfold. Extreme weather events are becoming more frequent and more devastating. And these storms are causing death and destruction. We were out in the yard working and it started to rain. I got this feeling, I don't know what it was exactly, but it was an uneasy feeling and I thought, we need to go, we need to go now. All of a sudden, everybody come running out of the trailer hollering, tornado, tornado. At that point, I run and I run and I run until I could never run no further. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. <laughs> it's like being back in Vietnam. This level of devastation is caused by storms that are becoming ever more massive. They feed off warm air and moisture, exactly the conditions we are seeing as the Greenland ice cap melts. And there is a more fundamental problem. The meltwater from the Greenland ice mass is traveling directly into a key Earth weather system, the Atlantic Conveyor. Some scientists believe that this meltwater could turn the conveyor off. If it does, it would turn our planet weather systems upside down. The Northern Hemisphere would be plunged into an ice age. Northern Europe bathes in the heat of the Atlantic conveyor. Starting south of the equator, it runs along the Gulf of Mexico, absorbing heat from the tropics, up the coast of America, then to Britain and Northern Europe. The current carries the heat of a million power stations. It means the British can swim in the sea at the same latitude that Canada has polar bears. This tropical water is more salty than northern waters, which makes it more dense. So as it cools, it becomes heavier than its surroundings, and it sinks. You have warm water moving north at the surface. It's cooling as it heats the atmosphere above it, and then sinks and returns as a cold, deep flow at depth. So you have a circulation that turns over. So the conveyor is a circulating system. But the meltwater of the Greenland ice cap is flowing directly into it. This fresh water is diluting the salty tropical water. Soon, it could become so dilute, the conveyor will grind to a halt. If this happened, northern hemisphere temperatures would plummet. I can only describe it as catastrophic. It's clearly going to influence every single one of us every day of our lives. You could expect to see sea ice off the coast of southeast England, probably several miles offshore. The effects of an Atlantic conveyor shutdown would be even more catastrophic inland. We'd expect to see ice storms. Now these are uh, severe winds, but they bring with them um, either frozen rain or snow, which clogs up and builds up on cables, power cables, telephone cables, brings them down very effectively. These conditions can persist for, for days and can really bring a country to its knees. The state of Maine experienced a taste of the future when it was hit by an ice storm in 1998. 